Good day viewers and welcome to my channel today. This is your favorite Mr. Omar, your online tutor. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown on the major components of a building, which are two, two major components of a building. When I mean building, I mean a building structure. We are a building an enclosed space where you live in. Yes, how it is being initiated. Now the two major components of a building structure which I would like to uh, base it on substructure and superstructure yes I believe you must be ah, but you have a roof and yes you have the substructure and the superstructure now a quick rundown on the substructure the substructure is the structure that you found beneath the ground level Yes, that's a structure that you will not be able to see again when the building is completed beneath the ground level. That is called the substructure, which involves the foundation and other groundworks that are being done beneath the ground level. That is substructure. Then now the superstructure is the structure above the ground level which you can see and you can touch, which is from the ground level to the roof. It is called the superstructure and I believe the, the, the major components of the superstructure involve uh, both block walls and uh, windows, roofs and other things. But that of the substructure involves mostly the foundation and gravels items that you use to bring up the building from the, the ground level. That's under the, 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 the ground which you cannot see. Now, uh, I would like to advise. There are some people that when building, when they are about to erect a building, they find it difficult to have an assessment of the site. When I say assessment of the site, you are supposed to have a soil test and the rest. When I, uh, I believe for those of you that are not uh, well to do in the building environment or you are not in the um, environmental studies, uh, you, you don't know much about building. What I mean about soil test, the soil need to be tested to know the bearing capacity of the soil before you know the kind of foundation that you have to erect on that soil. Uh, do you know that there are some soil that sinks? The soil, the bearing capacity is not that tidy and strong and the strength of the foundation ends up pushing the building downwards which creates an uneven settlement of this building that's why you see some buildings not standing erect and uh, they, they, they seem to be like tilting to the left or tilting to the right this is because the foundation and bearing capacity of the soil has taken above what it is supposed to take yes so you need to do a soil test then also you when you know the type of foundation that are to read in my other tutorials i've been giving you the types of foundation and where to use them i believe when you go to my other tutorials you'll see that now what i'm explaining to you you'll be seeing this on your screen well displayed so you can know the differences of what i'm saying now after carrying out a soil test and you now know the bearing capacity of this soil and you go further to erect your building the first place that you go to is for you to know now where is this this building supposed to face that's depending on where uh the the weather condition that's the climatic condition of this place that's after you have completed your your site clearing uh, removal of topsoil and you you decide to do your setting out before you dig your trenches now when you carry out your setting out to be able to remove the soil which um, otherwise where you are supposed to erect your block from the foundation level it is called excavation you are trying to excavate the soil now once you excavate the soil and you now have uh, some building depending on where you are building but the required uh, uh, the required 
height of the foundation level is supposed not supposed to be less than one meter i mean one meter is not supposed to be less than it can exceed that depending on the type of foundation that you are about to create yes but i would like to bring to your notice that when you now see the nature of the place where you are carrying out this building and if the place is a damp place that is uh, uh, the place is familiar to things like erosion uh, it's a waterlogged area where water drainage flows easily you are supposed to create measures are supposed to create measures for this dampness so as not to affect the building or the occupants of the building you know dampness is something that creates much discomfort especially when the building has been erected you find it very difficult for you to correct this uh, this uh, mistake that have been done from instance from the scratch where the building is being erected now for you to erase this problem you can do this with just a little token instead of spending more when this building has been completed now there's what is called damp proof membrane or damp proof course which uh, requires just a little money for you to to get this material the damp proof course the material you will see it on your screen is a leather like uh, a leather like material leather like sheets that you can use to spray before you cast your 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 concrete before you cast your concrete it has a slab where you are supposed to erect your your block walls and demarcations and the rest you are going to uh, first of all place this layer round the surface this layer will prevent dampness from rising above that level of the foundation yes because in some buildings, I believe you must have been having issues with sulfate, water penetrating through the wall upwards, water penetrating into the house. It creates much discomfort for the occupants. And I believe with this, you should be able to know now that you can eradicate this from the instant level of your foundation by inculcating damp proof membrane or damp proof course. Like, just like you can see it being affected on your screen I'm showing you on your screen so that you know the reason why water is coming into your building and why water is rising above your wall level upwards is because your engineer never took note of that or maybe you hired a quack engineer and he decided to do his own just to get his daily pay but I believe if you have not started building don't forget to do this and to find out if there is dampness in the area before building so as to eradicate such situation that will become unbearable for you both in cost and in comfortability when the building is erected thank you for watching until i see you again on our next tip on building structures and problems with building this is your favorite mr omar don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you again. Thank you. God bless.